Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw some really cute spring animals. Yes, a lamb and a duckling. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our baby lamb. We're gonna draw the nose and let's draw the letter V right in the middle of our paper. Then we're gonna turn that into the letter Y. Then let's draw the eyes. Let's draw a circle right here and we'll draw another circle over here for the other eye. Then we can draw the highlight to make the lamb's eyes shiny and also friendly. A little circle in the top left. Let's color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw the shape of our lamb's head. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a big U shape. We're gonna come down and that's okay if we don't touch the nose, but we're gonna come back up on the other side next to the other eye. Then let's draw the mouth and we're gonna draw a smile right here underneath the nose. Now let's draw the ears. We're gonna come up like this Curve out and then curve back in. Yeah, and we'll do the same thing over here. Curve out and up and then back in. Now we're gonna draw the top of our lamb's head and we'll connect the two ears together. Now let's draw our lamb's wool or the body. We're gonna draw a cloud line or a bumpy line that comes across and connects the two ears together. Kind of looks like hair. <laughs> now we're gonna imagine that going behind the ear over here, and we're gonna draw more bumps, bumpy line coming down. And some of the bumps could be really big, and then some of them can be little. We'll come back around and connect over to the other ear. Your lamb is my favorite. It's so cute. Thank you. Now let's draw the legs. We're gonna draw the letter U right here for one leg. And then let's draw another one right next to it. There's the two front legs. Now we could draw the two back legs. I'm gonna just draw part of it because it's behind the, the front two legs. Now let's repeat that same shape right here for the other leg, the other back leg. And then we could also draw the little toes on our feet. So we'll just draw a little line down the middle of each foot. Now let's draw our little duckling up here on top of our sheep. Let's first draw the bill or the beak. We're gonna draw the letter U. And then we can draw a little curve on top for the top of the beak. And we can also draw little nostrils two towards the top. And then let's also draw the eyes. We can draw an oval shape on the left and an oval on the right. Then we can color in the oval, but let's leave a little white spot, just like we did down here for the highlight and the eyes. Now, anytime that we go too fast or our art friends need extra time, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah. All right, now let's draw our baby duck's or duckling's head. We're gonna start here on the beak and we're gonna draw a curve that comes around like this. We can go up kind of high and then come back down and connect to the beak on the other side. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> you did it. Okay, now let's draw the body and we can just draw a little curve coming down and connecting to the wool or lamb. And we'll do the same thing over here. Connect down. And then we also got to draw little baby wings. We can draw a curve that comes out and then connects back in. Looks like a curved V. And then we can do the same thing on the right side out and then curve back in. We did it Mrs. Hubs, we finished our drawing. But we still need to color it. This part we're gonna fast forward but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Mrs. Hubs, we did it. We finished coloring our drawings. 
Yours is my favorite. Thank you. I hope our art friends are going to take time to color their drawings also. We even added tulips. You can add whatever you want to the background. You could add more baby ducklings or even chicks. Oh, baby chicks. That would be really cute. We hope you had fun drawing your spring baby animals. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.